everybody. It's Mike Young, lifestyle nutritionist with aplantbaseddiet.org. Welcome to chapter 62 on fiber. It's a, the whole chapter is on fiber. And you're probably wondering already why there's not a whole chapter on protein because there hasn't been, but that's next. That's ne but this one's more important. I'm putting fiber up front just like I put raw foods in front of cooked foods because we want to talk about the positive stuff, the most important things up front. Let's get the negative stuff out of the way, actually. First of all, hardly anybody gets enough fiber. And don't think you can get the fiber from any other way than from eating whole plants, whole plant fiber, all right? Don't think about pills, no pills, no metamucil or whatever the, the heck that stuff is. You, it's not the same thing to your body. Fiber will optimize your gut. You need to get more rather than less. It is possible to get too much in theory. <laughs> it's, it's a theory because I don't think anybody's got that problem, all right? Now, where do you get your fiber? Uh, of course, we're talking about plants, right? I am with aplantbaseddiet.org, but uh, what about people that eat animal products? Well, did you realize that there is no fiber in any animal products? There's none. Another reason, another strike against those animal products, don't eat animal products. The other thing is with processed foods, unless you're simply blending or cutting, any other form of processing like juicing or turning something into an oil is going to almost fully or fully remove all the fiber from that food. It's no longer food at that point, if you ask me. Fiber is what's important. You need to get it. it your gut depends on it. So many people have gut issues from IBS to leaky gut to, uh, I'd say even potentially um, mental issues of some kind, because if the gut's not functioning properly, it's not gonna produce serotonin and, and uh, bring that to your brain. Uh, it's, a, it's a big balance issue. It's a major imbalance issue when you're not getting enough fiber. And like I said at the beginning of this chapter, almost nobody is getting enough fiber. That's a huge, huge issue. This is way bigger than where do you get your protein or whatever that's gonna, we're gonna talk about in the next chapter. So again, the thing is you gotta eat mostly whole plants. Like I said, I'll allow you to cut them up and to blend them into a smoothie, the only the main issue with a smoothie is you might get too many calories because you can drink it too fast. But aside from that, uh, you know, in my in my case, actually, if you're eating well and you're eating a, a diet with minimally processed plants, you may actually start to one, wonder if you're getting enough calories. As long as you're eating a variety of plants and, in, and enough calories, you're going to get all the fiber you need. It's going to be great. It's perfect. It, this is the way your body was designed, the way nature design the way the whole plant the design of plants to to, to grow and to produce this fiber and to harm harness the energy and the sun and the water around it and the, the soils this is what you want and that fiber is the absolute thing that's the one thing you can only get it in plants okay and you're, it, you cannot manufacture it to an equivalent basis it's got to get into your body from those plants and also another benefit of fiber is that it, it's voluminous. It takes up a lot of space. And you know what happens when you eat it? It takes up a lot of space in your stomach. It takes up space in your stomach. And when it does, you don't feel like you're as hungry or ravenous or hangry or whatever you want to call it. You're not like that. And I'm not talking about the processed plant-like animal product-like foods that are plants. I'm not, those are all processed junk, okay? I'm talking about the real plants, okay? The real plants is what fills your stomach up and everything works right because you don't gain the weight that the average Joe and Jane gains all the time. You know, I'm 52, I, don't, I haven't gained that weight. I don't think I'm ever gonna gain that weight. I don't think I'm ever gonna be above 160 ever unless somebody knocks me on the head and I stop doing this lifestyle, something like that. But uh, the other thing is if you weigh too much, you're gonna start to lose weight rapidly. It's gonna, everything's gonna get back into balance. The reason why people carry around too much weight is because of an out of, a bal out of balance lifestyle. In 100% of the cases, it's an out of balance lifestyle. There is no question in my mind. The only question is, I mean, because overweight or obese, things like this. I know it carries a, a social stigma and like we don't want to be fat shaming anyone, which we're not. We are simply trying to educate because I think that 
what's happened now is because a lot of these foods are they're all legal, all right? The only thing that's illegal is like some kind of uh, plant drugs or something like that. But but the ones that are most harmful, the, the, the processed plants or the animal products, all stuff, these are all legal, okay? That's the problem. Uh, there should be somebody, a movement trying to ban these things if they are causing almost all the health problems. As I mentioned in earlier chapters, most health problems are caused by the food. And I, I'm not talking about just most, like 51%, I'm talking like 80%. And until we switch that around, this information is incredibly necessary. Please share it with anybody who is willing to listen, all right, with an open mind, because that's what that's all that's required. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, all these issues, all the diseases. I think you you've got the gist if you've listened to the rest of these uh, the previous chapters. If you haven't, please go back and listen to them. The most important one uh, on just the food is going to be chapter forty-two called the food, but. The fiber, the fiber is the key. Don't worry about the protein. As long as you're eating a variety of plants, you're gonna get it. The fiber is what you have to do. And don't think that because I'm eating plant-based, it's so healthy. I'm eating out of the plant-based ice cream in the grocery store, the plant-based yogurts, the plant-based milks, the plant-based cheeses. In most cases, there's almost no fiber in any of those things I just described even though they probably take up, if you add those four sections together, ice cream, cheese, uh, what did I say? I can't even remember them all. <laughs> There's too many, it's processed plant. If you add those processed plant foods up, you put them all together in one space, gather them all in the grocery store, and then you put them next to the produce section, they're probably gonna outnumber the produce section. All right, that's the problem. The produce section needs to be the biggest one because that's the only place you're gonna get the fiber. The intact fiber is in that produce the way nature designed it. And of course you get water along with it. Whenever you're getting fiber from the plants, in almost all cases, unless it's like a dried fruit and you shouldn't really do too many dried fruits so you can always rehydrate them by soaking them. Uh, the, you're gonna get the water along with it. So you're not gonna get dehydrated either. So many benefits for going after the fiber. Let me know down below how you think you're doing with fiber. If you know anybody that gets enough fiber, how about that? Tag them below or t tell me who this are. How, this, how do you know this person? What's the relationship to you? I want to hear their story if you know that they're getting enough fiber. And, you know, there's so many issues that people have, so many health issues. This is the biggest one. I think the biggest single thing you can do. And it just shows you how off base most people are, th the thinking is right now. Because if people are so hyper concerned about protein, yet should be hyper concerned about fiber. We're just looking in the wrong place. It, it, it again kind of kind of mentions how society right now is not really looking for the root cause of issues. They're just managing symptoms uh, because everybody out there has got issues. And I just wish everybody would eat all their fiber because they'd probably go away. Let me know your thoughts on that too down below. So thanks so much for watching. And if you got any kind of any kind of positiveness out of this, any kind of new knowledge, give me a thumbs up. And then of course subscribe. So we'll see you in the next chapter. Bye bye.